In this video, I'm gonna talk about why scheduling actually can reduce stress and anxiety, starting now. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by the multinational IA firm Crawford & Company. To be the best, you have to join the best at croco.com slash cat. Hey, what's up, Matt here with Adjuster TV, and let's talk about stress and anxiety, okay? The reason why um, people talk about like catastrophes, big like major storm deployments and why people wash out. There's a reason for it, right? And the reason isn't really that the work is that hard necessarily. The reason is because there are so many moving parts that are happening all the time that if you're if you don't understand the process, if you don't understand those moving parts or you only slightly understand it, what happens is is that when you don't know what to do, that will make you do nothing, right? And so then time will pass where you're like, well, I, there's the one thing I know how to do and that's to get out there and scope, right? And that's not being productive. That's that's really just stacking up more work for yourself, right? But the reason why I say scheduling reduces stress is because when you have, you, you'll you find, especially when you, if, you have, if you've done this already or, or, or after you first do this, you're gonna, they're gonna give you a 30 to 50 or 60 claims to start on a, on a major catastrophe deployment, right? you have to have everybody scheduled. They have to have everybody contacted, right? And if you don't really understand how that works, if you're, if you were sitting in orientation and the person sitting next to you was like, oh, listen, man, I'm, I, I gotta get out there and scope now, right? And you both just showed up yesterday and you haven't made any phone calls and you're like, well, I'm just gonna call people on the way and just do, just call each one on the way, right? Or I'm just gonna um, show up or I'm just gonna call three and schedule those for tomorrow and I'm gonna have to call for the three the next. If you don't have a, like a, a schedule for how you're gonna build your schedule and like what you're gonna do every single day, what that does is that, is that creates a lot of open loops. One open loop, just think about it this way. One open loop is, um, can cause, uh, increase your level of your stress level, right? Your cortisol, you know, your body does things when you, when you have stress and anxiety. It's kind of the fight or flight thing. It's sort of a primitive part of our physiology, right? But it can be triggered by the silliest things, right? You're, license plates on your car, right? It's, we just, it's just now uh, October and your license plates were good up until the last day of September, right? And it's October 1st. You should have done that last month, right? You should have gotten your, your tags renewed on your vehicle last month. Now you're driving around. So that, that created as an open loop that you was back there and it had some anxiety like, I don't know what I'm going to do that. Oh, I got to sit up. I got to go and sit at the, the DMV and have, find all this paperwork and all this stuff. Right. So it's an open loop in your brain that while it may not be like super duper stressful, like being chased by a bear, it causes, it increases your stress level a, a certain degree. Now you're going to ratchet it up another level now that you're, it's, you're beyond the deadline, right? So then you may put it off some more until you get pulled over or you finally decide to, to actually just sit down, just, just screw it. Today, I'm just going to go to DMV and if I have to sit there until, you know, it's eight o'clock in the morning, if I have to sit there until one, so be it. I'll take my phone and I'll have angry birds or whatever, right? So you can sit, you make, you just suck it up and you just do it, right? As soon as you do that, right? then the, that anxiety is gone because that loop is closed, right? If you don't have that open loop in the, in the background in your brain where there's two ends that need to come together, they're not together, right? And that causes the anxiety. You put them together by going to the DMV and sitting there for five hours and then it's done for a year or two years or whatever it is, right? And now it's off your plate. Well, there's gonna be other open loops. With claims, it's exactly the same way, especially on your first storm deployment where everything is an open loop and you don't even, there's open loops out there that you don't even know about. You're, you're fearing that there are open loops out there that you're like, I don't even know. There could be like, I could shine my flashlight over there and there's a vampire or, or you know, and, and then over there is 10 werewolves and then you know, up there is a, the blob is getting ready to jump on me, right? You don't know until you like start, you start going through your days and your phone starts to explode with, hey, how have, haven't you done this, that, and the other thing? You're like, I didn't even know I was supposed to do those things, right? When you make your schedule, that's the very first thing that will take your stress level from like, I mean, you feel like you're being chased by a bear, honestly. Like that's the what your body is going through with that, with the cortisol and like the ad ad adrenaline and everything else. If you take all those claims, we'll say you got 40 claims, right? And you say, all right, I'm gonna finish up with orientation 
And then tonight, I'm going to get into Google Maps, I'm gonna get into exact analysis, and I'm going to print out all those losses, and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna say, all right, that one looks kind of big, this one looks kind of small, right? And kind of get, and then organize them according to the map to where you have, a, you've built a schedule for the next, we'll say two weeks, right? So, so you say, all right, well, I'm gonna do, two tomorrow, two the next day, two the next day, and I'm gonna take a, a paper day, and then I'm gonna do so on and so forth. So you build out some kind of a schedule, and you organize all those claims in that, in that, that into that schedule, and then you, that, that's, a, that's a significant piece right there. And then you call the next, so, so, so you did that tonight, right after this, you know, after you did your orientations today at the, in the Storm Center, or whatever it is, right, on the hurricane. And then tomorrow I'm just gonna spend the whole day in my, in my hotel room, and I'm gonna call every single one of those claims, and I'm gonna set all those appointments right, for two, two weeks out, two and a half weeks out, whatever it is, right? Don't worry about the person that you're calling and saying, well, I'll be there in two weeks, you know, I'll be there on the 15th. And most people are gonna be like, okay, well, just get here, we, we understand, just get here when you can get here. Occasional person might be like, two weeks, that's outrageous, I can't even believe it. Sir, I'm really sorry, you know, it's the soonest I can get over there, and we're doing our best. Um, uh, I, I, you know, I really appreciate your patience. In the meantime, do whatever you gotta do. Do whatever you gotta do to protect your property from further, further damage. You know, start collecting receipts, right? You give the person some tasks to do, right? While they're waiting for you to show up. The trees, and I can't, I'm sorry, sir, I can't even look at the house with the tree on it anyway. So you just, you need to get somebody out there to get the tree off the house, so on and so forth. Don't worry about that, like, well, I'm terrified that people are gonna be mad at me because it's gonna be two weeks before I can get to their house. It's probably gonna be two weeks no matter what you do, even if you try to do everybody all at the same time because if things are gonna spin out on you, right? So get everybody scheduled, get everybody contacted, jump back into exact analysis or Xactimate, and if you're required to, which you, if you're doing component pay, you will be, um, and status every single one of those files. Contacted, 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 appointment set, appointment set, appointment set, appointment set, left message, appointment set, no answer, you know, trying to contact through agent, so on and so forth, right? All those claims. And you'll be done with that by the end of the day tomorrow, right? You, you, you made a plan that you were gonna do this all day. That, the, the level of relief that you'll feel when you have all that stuff scheduled all the way out and everybody's, all those phone calls are already made, it's behind you, right? And all those files are status and they're updated like as, as soon as you make all those phone calls, you sit down and restack all your papers and you jump in and Xactimate and, and update all the files. As soon as you do that, stress level plummets, right? So the number one thing I could tell you to do uh, as, a, as an independent ca catastrophe claims adjuster, when you get a big giant stack of claims and you're, you're, you're terrified, you don't know what to do, the, very, the, the one thing that you can do is build your schedule, right? And, and do it in a sensible way. Obviously, if you're on Adjuster TV Plus watching this, um, you'll, you know that we have a lot of resources for what that schedule should be, especially if you're a brand new person. If you wanna watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.